Have you ever tried to assemble a jigsaw puzzle without the picture on the box? You would have those odd shaped little pieces of colored cardboard, but no clear idea of how to start putting them together. For many managers, knowing how to hire employees, give them performance feedback, and decide on a pay raise feels much like trying to complete that puzzle without the picture. No sooner does the manager begin to feel as if he or she has a handle on some of these aspects of employee management than changes occur in the business environment. Let's take a look at the Human Resource Framework. The Human Resource Framework shows the relationship between the organization's context, both external and internal, and the HR activities that the organization needs to use to manage employees to achieve its ultimate goal, competitive advantage. By understanding the relationship among these components and how to use the HR activities to build on one another, managers can equip and position employees to maximize their contribution to company performance, which in turn creates a competitive advantage. This figure shows that the strategic management of employees centers around three categories of HR activities, which occur within the context of three main HR challenges. The three primary HR activities are, first, work design and workforce planning, which is about designing jobs and planning for the workforce needed to achieve organizational goals. Second, managing employee competencies, which includes identifying, acquiring, and developing employee talent and skills. Finally, third, managing employee attitudes and behaviors, which means encouraging and motivating employees to perform in appropriate ways to contribute to company goals. Managers carry out these three primary HR activities in the context of three main HR challenges, including organizational demands, internal factors including strategy, company characteristics, organizational culture, and employee concerns. Second, environmental influences, which are external factors including labor force trends, globalization, technology, and ethics and social responsibility. Third and finally, regulatory issues, a special subgroup of environmental influences that include federal, state, and local legislation that protects the rights of individuals and the company with regard to the employment process. Regulatory issues are critical to employee management. 